This week on eTalk, Kathleen and Danielle give us tips on how to start a successful blog, some eTalkers visit the Thursday Farmer's Market, it's May the 4th and we're talking about Star Wars, and Cracked Vessels performs all that and more coming up. I've got a job to do today. Have a good first day at work, Mom. Your donations to Goodwill fund job training programs right in your community. Feels good to start class, right? Sure does. And like that, you're a job creator. Welcome to eTalk. I'm here with my oh-so-great co-hosts, Madison, Nellie, and Danielle. We are here to talk everything from LA to Elon. But first, we're going to take a look at the Mosley Minute, where Madison and Rachel ask students what they think about the new Starbucks on campus. Check it out. Hey guys, it's Madison and Rachel. We're here with the Mosley Minute, and we're going to ask students what they think about Starbucks taking over Acorn. Wait, what's happening? <laughs> Starbucks is officially taking over Acorn. What are your feelings? Yeah, so I saw that the other day, the big sign in Acorn, and I started to cry a little bit. <laughs> and the Acorn workers were crying with me, so... It's still going to be here. It's just going to be a varsity. But the memories. <gasps> the memes, though. <laughs> what's going to happen to late night? What are you thinking? Um, what's going to happen to late night? That would be what I'm most upset about. I love late night, but I don't mind that... Barcy's leaving because it's not very good. I don't really believe that <laughs> either. So, your thoughts on Starbucks taking over Acorn and Varsity leaving? It's a lot happening. Excited for Starbucks to be on campus. I like Starbucks. Mm -hmm. Favorite Starbucks order. Well, any type of frappuccino or latte is good. We got a white girl over here. <laughs> Honest Rachel, I'm really excited about Starbucks coming. <laughs> it's true. Um, I'm sad because I love burgers and I'm concerned that I won't be able to have access to them at all times. On the meal plan, I can't just go to the root and say plus seven. <laughs> See you next week. <laughs> So what do we think about Starbucks on campus? Are we excited? Yes. I'm yes. excited. Yes. Yes. See, yes. I have mixed feelings because I, I'm, I'm a Starbucks. No, no, no. Okay. Starbucks all the way. <laughs> but I mean, I'm afraid that if Starbucks comes to campus, Oak House will suffer. And I mm -hmm. think Oak House is a lovely establishment and it's local, locally owned. And I just... Yeah, we just saw literally five minutes ago, we saw a petition against Starbucks against. coming. I yeah. saw that. Yeah. Even though I get that and I love, I'm a huge Oak House fan. I still think that like the people who go to Oak House to do their work and to like have that nice relaxing environment are still going to do that. Like I'm still going to do that. I love Starbucks. Mm -hmm. I just really hope kids don't pop in Starbucks, get their Starbucks, and then go into Oak House with their Starbucks. Yeah. Because that would just be rude. They're and probably going to make a rule against it. Yeah. They, they already do because sure. people already do that. People yeah, take so. Acorn. Yeah. They yeah. Because it's so cheaper. Yeah. It well, is. And right. you can use real dollars. Well, any yeah. new, anywho, we have some big news. Big news. Big yep. news. In my mm. life, um, because <laughs> across the ocean, Kate Middleton had a baby. Across the pond. Oh. Yes, <laughs> we've been waiting oh, Royal so baby. long. Nine baby. Nine Nine months. Months. Down. Down. So it was a baby girl. Um, I thought she was having a baby girl, so I'm pretty excited. Her name yes. is Charlotte, which, just like with George, they didn't mm -hmm. release the name right away, so there was it's some speculation. Like might be, I think it's like a royal the, rule yeah. or something to wait 48 yeah. hours. Probably. Get I don't know. <laughs> sure, Casey. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I read about it. <laughs> I don't know. But I want to know what you guys think about um, this baby girl and what she's going to be wearing. Oh, okay. Because that's what I'm First most of excited all, about. She's going to look better than me. Me too. Oh, absolutely. On any given this day. girl can have better fashion <laughs> yeah. sense at like two months old than I do the, right. now. Yeah, no. yeah. Um, uh, Her diapers will cost more than probably any article, yeah. Yeah. article of clothing yeah. I own. Yeah. So. I think Kate has amazing absolutely. fashion so sense. Yeah. And she I think she's just going to dress her kid. The girl Two was hours. wearing heels 12, after, 12 hours after yeah, giving birth. She looked amazing. Like, can we talk Wait, about that? Can we talk about how beautiful she looked? She, looked? she like, was glowing. Like, glow not that yeah. I would know, looks, but after I give birth, I would be <laughs> like, yeah. drenched it's and looking not like a be, monster. Like, not that's an excuse for yoga pants for like the next six months. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's what yeah. I was thinking. I guess She's owning it. She's I guess it's different when you're a royal. Yeah, speaking of American royalty, or maybe not so much. 
<laughs> Madonna spoke out again about the <laughs> Madonna. about <Mad>. the Drake <laughs> <laughs> about the Drake kiss incident. Uh, she had some firing words no. at him actually. She said when asked at an SNL interview about what it was like to kiss Drake, she responded with, "I kissed a girl and I liked it." That's just rude. Yeah, That's it is just rude. so rude. It I is. Mean, it first of all, it is, and then she said, "Blow the belt." Like, yeah, really blow the belt. And then she she mentioned that uh, if Drake, because there were claims that Drake didn't want it, and she was like, "Well, if he didn't want it, he shouldn't have begged for it for so long." Oh, I just, okay. So Madonna is really shots have been fired. Yeah. yeah. What do you guys think? Do you think Madonna is telling the truth? I think, I think she was. I think she's embarrassed, yeah, and that's how she like just thought to react, which yeah. is yeah. So so, like, come on, not classy. Like, how she, she should did it. be embarrassed because she's old and planted one on. And tree. the video was <laughs> like, gross. She probably just should have let that. Yeah. Just go. I think people are also it. just making fun of her. Yeah. Oh, for I doing understand it. her getting defensive. I definitely do because that's embarrassing yeah. and Drake's it's hard. Feminine, but. like, no. He's not there's cute. anything wrong with that, yeah. but he's no. Drake's like. I don't know. Speaking yeah. of macho <laughs> rappers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so it's been a year since the Met Gala elevator incident oh, between yes, Jay-Z, Beyonce, and her sister so Solange. So Solange. 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 <laughs> um, and yeah. apparently they have said that um, they are better than ever. So it kind of leads me to believe my theory <laughs> that I always had that that whole elevator incident was um, to create revenue on their concert, their you know their yeah, world yeah. tour together. Uh, so I just because if there's believe. one thing Beyonce and Jay Z need, it's money. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. They just don't I, have enough of it. I don't actually, think anyone knows their name. There's right a there. number <laughs> to call at the bottom of the screen to donate yeah. to Beyonce <laughs> and Jay Z. <laughs> yeah, fun. So, um, I mean, to donate to uh, what's the baby blue blue, 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 blue college fund. Yeah, I just think I mean they're also family. I think they just got in a fight. My sisters and I fist fight all the time. <laughs> Is that weird? Ooh. I don't know. <laughs> but we sure. do. We like, uh, Alex and will be giving right hook lessons after this. <laughs> we do. We fist like when we get, not all the time as an exaggeration, but we have. So yeah. I just think they're really close in their family and she kind of was they're mad and adults. freaked out. Yeah. Uh, uh, I don't know. I'm not sure if it's a publicity sound. I'd like to think more of um, my personal Beyonce. friends, Jay-Z and Beyonce. <laughs> but if so, then who cares? Uh, I don't know. She's perfect. She can't do anything wrong. Yeah, I mean, I do think the thing with that last year is I was like the Met Ball, like the Met Gala. It's just, it's so classy. It's like a Vogue put on event mm -hmm. at like this beautiful museum and everyone wears these gorgeous dresses. And it's then like trashy. that's, yeah, yeah. like yeah. brawling in an elevator, like you're better than that. They didn't yeah. think anyone they could see that. So you have another interesting story for us. This one was really this blew my a mind. a little political. Yeah, it's a little, so yeah, switching gears possible here. Possible Republican presidential candidate Rick Santorum, who has been publicly against same-sex marriage, has now come out that he supports Bruce Jenner. He said that um, Bruce, if Bruce decides that she wants to be a woman and truly thinks she is a woman, then he supports her. And which is really beautiful and oh, really, really I surprising. So. Um, I mean, I, I'm not as surprised. I mean, yet. Yeah, I think what it is, you you know, these politicians come out and say, oh, they're against it. I think they're just against it when it comes to, you know, government getting involved yeah. with it. But I really don't think... At the core, yeah. At the core, they're these terrible human beings that no. don't want mm -hmm. people to, you Be know, happy. lead the life that they want. So, I, I mean, I think that's great. And I think that's awesome for him if he is going on the campaign mm -hmm. trail to kind of come out and say something like that. So, yeah. props yeah, to good, him, good right? Him. Yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, well, stay with us on eTalk because when we come back, our experts are taking, talking successful blogging. When you throw away money on wasted electricity, you're throwing away everything you could have bought with it. Saving energy saves you money. Chill raw and prepared foods promptly. One in six Americans will get sick from food poisoning this year. Check your steps at foodsafety.com. Hello, e 
Money Talkers. I'm joined by Kathleen and Danielle, who are successful student bloggers. So first, why don't you ladies tell us about your blogs? Kathleen, do you want to start? Sure. Okay, so I started my blog in 2012, and, um, you know, I really, I got it started because i really into fashion. I really like to write. I'm a journalism major. Okay. So I thought, why not combine all of my favorite things um, into one kind of blog, one place to kind of curate everything and kind of serves as a portfolio for me. So I blog about fashion um, mostly, but I consider it a lifestyle blog. Lifestyle but blog. It's, it's basically fashion. Very cool. So <laughs> how many times a week do you blog? I blog once or twice. Once or, ooh, wow, um, that's a lot. At least once. I usually do every four days, so right. sometimes it ends up being once. Does it take a twice. while to, I mean, I've seen your blog before and it's, I mean, it's amazing and you, you get the pictures and, you know, compile outfits and ideas. How long does it take you to, to come up with like a, you know, well-rounded blog post? I love doing it. Like even right now, I just get excited so, talking about it. I love it so much. So it really doesn't even, it's not work, it's not hard. Um, it's just super fun for me. It's a way to let out steam and be creative. And I, don't, I mean, I don't even look at the time. I don't even know. Right, you don't even know. Um, oh, that's it awesome. doesn't, yeah, I mean, there's a lot that goes into it. Right. And it is time consuming, but it's something that I love so much that I don't really pay attention to how long it takes. But it does take a while. Right. So. What, where have you, where did you start your blog? Was it on like a blog website or did you come up with your own? Um, like I started doing? out using Blogspot, okay. which, um, and I had a template, and I, I still use Blogspot, but I started off using a template, which, you know, most people do. It's a totally normal thing to right. start off with. I, then once I kind of got the feel for it, about a year later, I hired someone to design my blog for me. Oh, wow. And so it's not a template anymore. Um, it's strictly only my blog. You can't find it. And no one else will have my design. Um, which is pretty cool, and right now I'm considering going through another redesign process oh, to make it a little bit more sophisticated. Very awesome. So you had something really exciting happen to you this year with your blog. I did. Would you yeah. like to share what that of was? Of course. Um, so Lauren Conrad has her own blog, of course. What doesn't she have? <laughs> <laughs> so fabulous. Um, and she every Friday she features fashion bloggers, um, and she calls it Chic of the Week. And I was chosen in February for one of her Sheiks of the Week, um, and it was very exciting. I got a lot of page views that day, and they yeah. just kind of shot up, and I was like, what is going on? And then I, one of my blogger friends in the community like, messaged me and was like, congrats. And I was like, what? Oh, my and gosh, so you had no idea. No, I didn't, I, I didn't know. They that, don't message you or anything That must advance. have been yeah. so exciting. It was cool. It was really cool. That, that's great. Uh, well, congrats on that. Thank you. So let's switch gears. And so you also have a blog, Danielle. Yes, yes. So what is, what is yours about? What do you um, focus well, on? Well, mine's called Sneakers and Stilettos. It's actually being redesigned right now. So that's what it's oh, going to look like at the end of this also week. Also beautiful. Um, also beautiful. Thank you. And it actually started out, I wanted to kind of document my half marathon progress. Okay. So I really was mostly about running and things that I was learning and tips that I had from uh, training. And once I finished my half marathon, I kind of wanted to transition it a little bit more because right. I'm still running, but it's not something that's super consuming. Right. Um, so now I kind of am a little bit more lifestyle. I've done a lot more of like outfits. I usually like one outfit post a week I've been trying to do. Okay. Kathleen has been an amazing mentor for me and I love <laughs> oh her gosh. blog. So uh, I've been kind of taking, taking hints from Kathleen uh, in terms of outfits and stuff. So I'm really, for me, it's only been about five or six months now. So it's definitely like a learning process. Right. and. I've learned a lot so far. Uh, I've got a lot to learn still, but it's it's fun and it's, it's a good time and um, it's fun to get friends involved to take pictures and right. And that's so that's that. why I was going to ask you next, both of you. How do you get the word out there about your blog? Are you just sharing it on Facebook and trying to get followers, or you know, you said you've connected with other people in the community. Mm -hmm. So how are you spreading the word about your blog? Um, definitely Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, any social media that you can think of, um, you should be on if you have a blog. Right. Um, and also just talking to your friends, creating business cards, um, that's really good, that's oh, a good idea. That's a great idea. And also blog lovin, which is kind of like the Facebook for blogs. Um, it's kind of where everyone comes together and you can comment on other people's, they can follow you, you can follow them. And that's a great way too to get involved. Oh, very cool. Very awesome. So, do you do? You, what are you planning to do with your blogs? You're graduating soon. Are you going to keep up with it? Absolutely. I don't have a photographer right now for in New York when I move to New York, but I will figure it out. You'll figure it yeah, out. Absolutely. And what about you? You're going to continue it over the Definitely. summer? Definitely. Um, it might change a little bit to a bit more travel when I study abroad next semester, but I'd love to keep doing outfit posts and um, maybe more healthy eating this summer when I have more of a chance to focus on that. Well, that's great. Stick around because up next we check out the Thursday Farmer's Market.
So, same time next week? Well, of course. Put away a few bucks, feel like a million bucks. For free tips to help you save, go to Feed the Pig. Hey, talkers, Courtney here, and I'm coming to you from the Farmer's Market, which occurs every Thursday from 3.30 to 6 outside of Elon Community Church. Let's see what they have to offer. when the farmer's market started. Um, our farmer's market founder, Sandra Sarlinger, Sarlinga and her husband Fabian Lujan uh, decided to start a farmer's market for the church to sponsor. What do you love about the farmer's market? Um, the community bonding. Yeah, there's, definite, there's a definite bond. So what do you like about the farmer's market? Um, well, I came here, I get some fresh fruit, there's a lot of like fresh things, so I really like it. Um, everybody's really nice. You don't have to drive to the grocery store, you can just walk it's on over here. It's not a lot here. of money, it's really cost efficient also. We just like seeing okay. what they have. Yeah, um, I think they usually have um, a bunch of like fruits and vegetables that are really fresh and local, usually they're a better local, price local, than you know? Harris Teeter. What did you get at the farmer's market today? Well, I ordered ahead. Um, Redbud offers a service that you can place an order a few days before the market so that you don't miss out on the items that you want. So I ordered um, asparagus. That's a quick seller, so I was I, I tried to get my order in on that. And a salad mix and um, bunches of herbs. Mm -hmm. And next week I hope to get the, the bedding plants for my herb garden. So how often do you come to the, the um, farmer's market? Well, I come fairly often. Um, we, uh, Redbud also uh, delivers to some customers, and so sometimes on, on that route, so I alternate, you know, mm -hmm. coming or not. So tell us what you got at the farmer's market today. I got some local honey to help with allergies. Um, I just saw it as I was driving by, and I needed honey for tea, so I figured I'd stop by. Best to buy local, so. So yeah. this asparagus was harvested today. Today. Our farm is 12 miles from here, Redbud Farm. We're certified organic. So this is local and fresh and yummy. We're back, and may the 4th be with all of you. We are here to discuss the upcoming Star Wars movie and how to throw a Star Wars themed party. So, Melissa, are you a big Star Wars fan at all? No, I do not know anything about Star not Wars. Not anything about no, Star Wars. I all do right, not. <laughs> well, you are here to learn. So, uh, this is the seventh installment of Star Wars. Uh, okay. The first three movies were in the 70s and 80s, and then the third trilogy came in the late 90s, early 2000s. This one is called The Force Awakened because there hasn't been a movie in nine years. Okay. since the last one. Uh, this new movie is taking place 30 years after the events of the last one, the one in 2005. Since then, the Star Wars brand has undergone some changes. Disney bought the brand from Lucasfilm, so okay. Disney now owns Star Wars. J.J. Um, Abrams is the uh, producer, director of this movie. Uh, he did Star Trek, so that's that was a big point of contention, how oh, yeah. Star Trek director now producing Star Wars, everybody's mom gets those two things confused. So yeah, okay. um, so this new movie is uh, following three new Jedis in training, and there's also returning characters, that's what a lot of people are excited about. Harrison Ford is coming back as Han Solo, Anthony Daniels is coming back as C-3PO, R2-D2 is gonna be there, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, one thing that I thought was really interesting 
is that uh, the past couple movies has come out. The Avengers just came out, the second Avengers, mm -hmm. Age of Ultron. Um, that's just like a superhero movie, big superhero movie, second biggest grossing opening of all time. Wow. And Star Wars is expected to shatter that. At fir first biggest opening right now is the last Harry Potter movie. Okay. Because, you know, Harry Potter obviously has a big following as well. Yes. And then Star Wars just has all kinds of ages. Everybody loves Star Wars except you. Apparently, <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, it's okay. So yeah. Um, Wait. So when does that actually come out? It comes out December eighth, I believe. So okay. very, very end of this year. Okay. Everybody's really excited about it. Hey, so excited. if I were to, uh, if I were to invite you over and uh, <laughs> watch all the Star Wars movies, because obviously you have to. Uh, right. What what kind of party should we plan for that? Well, so my number one thing is food. You always have to have food for a party. So these Stormtrooper cupcakes oh. are so cute and oh. they look really easy. You they could look delicious. Yeah, you could honestly just buy cupcakes from the store and put a marshmallow on top and like it's a Stormtrooper do, cupcake. Do you know how they uh, made the little Stormtrooper face on it? No, um, you could probably it just looks, color it, it on like, there. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, I don't know what you color it in. It looks like yeah. they burnt it. I always burn my marshmallows oh, yeah. when I make them anyway. So. Yeah, but I thought those were really cute. All right. And then next is Cute little um, lightsabers, oh. just made oh, out of colored napkins. It. And it's so easy, you can probably print out the bottom part and then just make um, lightsaber. Just just funny things yeah. for Star Wars fans yeah. to be excited about. The In the first trailer they released, you know, lightsabers usually just go straight up like that. This one guy's lightsaber went straight up and then to the side a little bit, and people started freaking out. <laughs> and as like, I, I like Star Wars, but I'm not a huge Star Wars fan. But right. when I saw people freaking out about that, I'm like, Wow, people are really excited for this. Yeah, movie. lightsabers are cool. So you could also make them out of grapes. Oh, just put a, bun, a line of grapes on like a skewer and, and healthy. just make a lightsaber. Yeah. Very nice. So I actually have more lightsabers to show you. Really? Yeah, I actually made Please a couple. Please do. So it was super easy. Didn't take any time at all. But Ooh. these could be super fun. And you could even have a like a fight with these lightsabers at the party. So these are like. Um, those Freezy Pops things from the, um, from the grocery store, and it was just felt, and I just glued it on there, and you can take it out and put it on other ones. Oh, okay, they're not frozen, so but <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then this is actually just a pool noodle, so it was super easy. Um, I just did the same thing, same exact felt, just put it on this pool noodle. So yeah, this probably can't cost more than like, what? Yeah, three, a couple I, dollars? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I spent three dollars on felt and pool noodles. Not hard to so, make. Yeah. Uh, very exciting. So yeah, Star Wars. Oh, um, Star Wars is coming out December eighth. Uh, it's a whole new trilogy. We're really mm -hmm. excited for that it. That is um, exciting. Three movies over the next like three years. Um, a lot of the same guests, uh, stars from before. So we're all really excited. Sounds for exciting. It. So yep, watch Star Wars movies. Oh, it's gonna okay. be great. Don't go up anywhere because up next, Cracked Vessels is going to perform. I've got a job to do today. I've got a job to do today. Have a good first day at work, Mom. Your donations to Goodwill fund job training programs right in your community. Feels good to start fresh, right? Sure does. And like that, you're a job creator. You sure you don't want some? It's chamomile. <laughs> Listen, you are extremely terrifying. Mm. Just the scariest undead subhuman mm. thing on TV, and I really mean that. <laughs> but I am worried that you could give my kids nightmares if they see you, so I'm gonna have to block you. <laughs> so that's it. Oh, and, and tell the zombies they're, they're blocked too. <laughs> Hey, e talkers I'm here with Jacob Lenz and Tyler Meacham, the duo that make up Cracked Vessels. So tell us a little bit how you guys got started. Um, we started writing together last year. Um, we wrote our first song, I think, around August. And we've been writing stuff ever since. Very cool. So what are you guys going to play for us today? Uh, it's a song called Live While You're Gone. OK, perfect. So without further ado, here's Cracked Vessels. Oh, 
I break your fall, I cannot catch you. If I wake up now, I won't forget you. Take it from me, I wanted to leave. It's always the trouble with life on the bubble, you see. So smile if you can, and forget the plan. If you can't remember to live while you're gone. Opinions are optional But baggage is not Transcend the possible Every mind that's changed is something special Every time you ache, it cracks the vessel I wanted to leave It's always the trouble with life on the bubble, you see So smile if you can And forget the plan If you can't remember to live while you're gone And move on, move on from your life Move on from your tribe from the weight of my That was amazing. Thank you guys so much for coming on. That's all we have for today. Remember to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Until next time, this is eTalk.